what is up everybody silver city stacker coming back at you with a brand new video we got an unboxing today we got some brand new silver so let's get into it and let's add it to the stack i'm gonna go ahead and open these up at this angle and then i'll move the camera down and we'll take a look at what we got in here so just a heads up if any of you guys order from sd bullion that's who this is from there's a very specific way that you can open these packages and it makes it very easy. I've seen some of you guys fight with them and I, I, I laugh while I watch the video. You find the top and you can feel the grooves. And you can feel the grooves on the front and you can feel the groove on the bottom. You just kind of cut, there it is, cut the groove on the top, both sides. And then the front groove will be over a little bit more. See the knife went down in that little groove there. And then there's a groove on the bottom. Cut that groove open. And then you just lift that flap. I mean, you got to break the tape, of course, but... You can see it's popping open there, and it's popping open there. And you just open up the flap, and then it opens right on up. Helps if it cuts tape all the way through. Let's just put it that way. Anyways, it opens pretty easy. Thank you for your support of SD Bullion. You're welcome, SD Bullion. Okay, let's see what we got in here. There we go. All right. What do we got in here today? Got uh, some Silver Freedom Round. Got an airtight case. Got Silver at Spot Black Friday offer. Oh, what do we got here? The 2021 Roaring Lion. Oh, I bet you some of you have seen that on the uh, on the banner ads if you browse the uh, online dealers. Also, we got the 2020 Tree of Life. Excuse me. Pardon me. We got the uh, 2020 Tree of Life and the 2021 Roaring Lion. One of each of the next two sets in the series. I have the 2019s. I've got these packages today and had to go to work. Didn't have a chance to record this, so I've been like a kid on Christmas waiting to get into these packages all day. Oh, here we go. There's the airtight cases. Good, good. There's the silver. We'll set that aside for now. SD Bullion. Ooh. I think we all know that information by now. I've promoted them shamelessly quite a few times. And this other one, like I said, I'll set this aside for now. This other one here is from Littleton. And I know a lot of you have some skepticism with the whole Littleton deal. But uh, I watched Flying Twinkies video and he showed off what he got. And he showed the invoice for what he got. And so it looked like it was a really good deal. I took him up, well not took him up, but took them up on their offer. And we'll, uh, we'll see what we got here. Let's get into it. Ah, there we go. Flaps on that side. Alrighty here. So I just started a new job tonight. I've previously been delivering pizzas. And now I'm delivering newspapers. I probably won't be making quite the tips. But I'll be making way more better or way more consistent money so it all adds up in the end and I have the potential for more newspapers on my routes so I think starting out with just the 80 papers I did tonight I probably made as much tonight as I would have worked in the pizza place <laughs> excuse me here sorry cough a couple of times there all right, thank you from Littleton's Coin Company. Nice pretty blue envelope here. Let's see if we can slide any 
personal information is out of the way here. Let me take a look real quick. Coins enclosed. Please open. Another coin enclosed. Oh, let's see here. What do we got? Coins of the world. I guess I'm sideways for you right now. There's some coins of the world paperwork we can take a look at and read about their little offers and different programs and subscriptions that they have. Of course, Littleton is overpriced and you don't really want to deal with them, but hey, if you can take advantage of a promotion like this, then why not? So this is the coins on approval program that they enroll you in. And it looks like just a bunch of junk paperwork. I'm not even gonna bother with that on camera. Let's see here. Is this any personal info? Oh. They include a return envelope for the coins if you don't want them. Sorry, I've got my camera at a weird angle right now, so got to remember to turn stuff sideways. Okay, let's see. This is an invoice with a name on it. Let's cover that up. Oh, goody. Oh, goody. All right, so let's take a look at this. Make sure it's in focus here. So we've got 2020 American Silver Eagle uncirculated, $20, free shipping, no tax, paid for with PayPal, $20, remaining balance, zero. So I got myself a 2020 Eagle for $20. That's under spot. Uh, I want to say spot was 23 or 24 at the time of this order. See, and now here we've got, as promised in the advertisement enclosed as your first selection from our famous coins on approval program, you may preview the coins risk-free for up to 15 days. And it looks like they sent me a 2020 Canadian Silver Maple Leaf. This will be my first one of those. I have a stack of 11 of the 1.5 ounce, but no single ounce maples. Now their price is unreasonable. $50 for a maple. However, the promotion for enrolling in this, purchase your entire selection within 15 days and save. Special offer. You pay only. What? $18.14 for a Canadian maple leaf? Are you kidding me? Yes, please. That's all I gotta say about that. Yes, please. So, as you can see, by taking advantage of that offer, I picked myself up a couple of ounces well under spot. Let's take a look at them, see what we've got. Okay, this one's in the package. We can take a look at it here. If I can find it, there we are. Of course, I'll take this out of the package, but I may capsule this one, to be honest with you because this is a 2020. You know, the whole key date, and beer flu, and you know, 2020. I mean, come on, really? So, I might capsule this one. I'll inspect it. Looks like it might have a little bit of milking or some kind of spotting on it right around there. Can, oh, you can't see that. <laughs> right in here. It looks like it's got some marking on the coin itself. Not bad. Maybe a little milk swirl. Nothing terrible. I mean, really, it's just bullying. It's not like I'm going to get it graded. But uh, I probably will encapsulate it. Just because. Looks pretty good. Doesn't look scratched up at all. Just looks like it has that little little bit of a milk swirl or probably not a fingerprint, but a little marking on the front there. But so yeah. Twenty dollar silver eagle. When spot was like twenty-four, 
bucks or something. Pretty good deal. Not going to complain. <coughs> Excuse me. Pardon me again one moment. Okay. Now let's get into this. And this is supposed to be the maple. Also in a baggie. Ooh, pretty. Get this up under here for you. I'll show these better when I turn the camera. This is a horrible lighting setup for where I have the camera positioned at the moment. So, yeah, like I said, I'll show them off a little better. That's nice. Ah! That's not so nice. Let's look anyway. Make sure she's not all screwed up looking. Oh, looks pretty clean. Love my Canadian silver. So this will be my first one ounce maple. Like I said, I've got a bunch of the uh, the 1.5 ounce. And one and a half ounce super leafs. Some of them are the polar bears and the snow falcon and whatnot. Arctic fox. But uh, yeah, I've got 11 of those. I need four more to fill up a tube, but this is my first one ounce maple. Pretty stoked about that. Not gonna be returning it. I will be paying for that shortly. I, I do owe the 1814 for that. And let's get into the other one. This is going to be two generic Freedom Rounds from SD Bullion. It's going to be these guys. One at spot, one at the low premium that they come at, which is like a buck sixty-nine or two bucks, something like that. Maybe it's a buck ninety-nine. They do. They don't send an invoice. They send a packing slip. And then you can go online and look at your invoice. So I can pull my order up and just show a quick screen. And do it the old fashioned way. So let's see, they always send them in flips, which is nice. I don't like them in cardboard and I don't really care much for the baggies, but. <clears throat> so let's see here. Got two of these guys, one at spot, one with a slight premium. Two more of those for the stack. That brings me up to five of those. And I'm going to have to double check my count here to see what this is going to bring us up to. But here we've got. The 2020 and the 2021 under horrible lighting. I apologize. Give me a few moments and I'll get that squared away. There we are. 2020 and 2021. Tree of Life and Roaring Lion. I will need the 2021 tree and the 2020 lion to complete the three sets but this gets me a little bit closer that is quite the finish on that lion they did a nice nice job on that wow the tree isn't much different than the other one it doesn't look like the inscription is going to be different but the design looks pretty much the same. The lion, however, did get completely redesigned from the old lion design. And they did a very good job on it. It's got a slightly frosted background with a little bit of a mirrored design. And then the lion himself is frosted. Not sure how well you can see that under this light, but. <clears throat> so, 
So yeah, let me readjust the camera here and we will take a closer look at these. Get them capsuled and add them to the stack. Okay, gloves on, camera repositioned. Let's get these air tights opened so that we can put our lion and our tree away without hurting them. As you can see by my new setup, I purchased some easels from On Fire Guy. Cleaned up my setup a little bit. Got rid of those horrendous blue cell phone holders. They worked, but uh, they took up a lot of room. Prefer to use compressed air, but I don't have any on hand. So, let's start with the tree. Dig it out of here. I've got the tree of life. Featuring the Hebrew symbols for Yahweh. One troy ounce of four nines fine silver. The queen beast herself. Oh, she got kind of a frosty face on this one. Did she have that on the previous year? Yeah, she did wasn't as noticeable I guess she looks a little more frosty this year stay frosty queen you can see it was like a smooth frost last year and it's almost like an etched frost this year a little bit heavier on the frosting <laughs> well but uh, yeah this, it's got the same reverse Basically, from the from the side, you wouldn't know which one's which, unless you were to get your loop out and check out the inscription. This is the 2020 tree. Lion comes out first, so second half. So this is the first half of the inscription, and I have no idea where my magnifier went. There it is, and my bullet dimes. Alright, so we've got the inscription. Wait, what? I thought the inscription was supposed to change. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I'm going to have to check something. I thought the inscription was supposed to be different on this one. Okay, so that's... That's weird. <clears throat> Unless I didn't change it till 2021. Yep, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Okay. I don't know. I'm going to have to look into that. 2019 and the 2020 are both saying the same thing. Each set is supposed to contain two halves of a different scripture. The 2019 set contains the scripture John 14, 6, I believe. I can be bad with numbers, so forgive me if that's wrong. When John asked... Jesus, where he was going and how they would be able to follow him, <clears throat> he replied that he was the way, the truth, and the life, and that no one would be able to come to the Father except through him. And that's the two halves of the scripture on the two coins. I am the way, the truth, and the life. 
No one comes to the Father except through me. And then that was supposed to be different on the two of the next year. So, Alright, got the little injection dots lined up there. Kind of anal about that. And wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Ah, oh, yeah. Love that sound. There we are. You can kind of see that frosting looks a little more etched this year. Beautiful coins. Uh, I, I really love them. I'm a big, big fan of New A. Sorry about that camera bump. I need to get a new setup. I really do. <clears throat> but I just started the new job. And hopefully funding will pick up. As I have the potential to make a lot more money than I was. Working about the same amount of hours. So. It's just all kind of come in one lump sum. As I'll be getting paid once a month. Instead of twice a week with tips every night. It's the tips every night that really help. Especially when you have a good night and you bring in like 60 bucks, 70 bucks in tips. But I was doing this uh, paper route delivery like four years ago and uh, Christmas time, I got like 600 bucks in tips from the different customers I was delivering to. Granted, it was a big, big route. I had a lot of customers. But, yeah, $600 at Christmas time, I wasn't going to complain about that either. So, let's get this other, another one of these guys opened up. Dust in that. Ugh. I don't have any microfiber towels, I don't think. Hang on a second. Okay, I'm back. These things are great, but man, they're terrible for attracting dust. Ugh, tell you what. If you don't like dust inside your capsule, ugh. That's something that's going to bother you all the time. I think it was Silver Wolverine did a video recently where he said he took a coin out of a capsule because there was a fleck of dust on it. And he said he blew the dust off and spat on the coin and then went to wipe the spit off and got the coin all yucky. Yeah, so he was like, don't even take them out. So I like to get them in there before they get all dusty and gross. Man, that is nice. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it like I can. Yeah, that looks pretty good on camera, from what I can tell anyway. Look at that contrast. That frosting versus that mirror versus that flat frost. The, the flat frost of the background versus the frost of the lion. That's incredible. They did a really good job on this one. And they're all one troy ounce of the four nines fine. Typical of most other countries, silver, they use the, the more pure stuff. <clears throat> 2021, Queen Elizabeth, New A, $2.00. This is the side we like. Let's look at it some more. In all its glory and beauty and wonder. I'm trying to hold it still for you while moving it back and forth. And 
let's get this one in the capsule. Light. I don't think they make a 37. I think it's like 37 point something millimeters, these coins. Okay, where's the injection dot? There it is. There's that one. Let's wind up and wait for it. Ah, yeah. Protected. All right, there we go, guys. There's our 2021 Roaring Lion with a bunch of dust inside. Of course. Oh, well, here's what it is. It's in there now. So, there's those two. <clears throat> 2020 and the 2021 tree and lion and I've got the 2019s over here Let's see if I can bring those in for a nice little shot for you guys so you can get some good comparisons Certainly the best focus, so let's do this. Old design, new design, same design. Still using a cell phone holder for this purpose of recording and whatnot so i apologize for my crappy setup so there's those and here's these i'm not going to do a whole bunch on these because i've already showed them off a lot of you probably already have these three nines fine one Troy Ounce, SD Bullion, Branded, Generic Rounds, usually about $2 over spot. One of these was at spot for the Black Friday sale. And the other one was at a slight premium. On the stack. On the stack. And so let's see here. I believe in my last video I said I was somewhere around 32. Uh, maybe just under 32 because some of it's uh, constitutional and fractional. And yeah, so I think I'm right about 32. Let me add those two. That makes 34. And those two makes 36. And these two makes 38. So 38 ounces on the stack. I found a couple of sterling silver bracelets in my jewelry box. Well, my not my jewelry box, but my box that I put random jewelry, random coins, random stuff in. These are both 925 sterling. I don't remember what they weighed out at. But I believe the scrap calculator told me they were worth about 40 bucks uh, melt value. So I think it was like an ounce and a half. Troy, after the calculation. Let's see, grams. Twenty nine four thirty 
56 one 56.1 grams there's the G 56.1 grams of sterling and if I calculate that up real quick so using the sterling silver melt value calculator 56.1 grams it tells me is 1.6684 troy ounce of pure silver with a current melt value of $40.99 based on silver spot at $24.57 moving on to another little piece of jewelry I found I remember finding this one laying in the road ran over by a car it was smashed flat and I stretched it back out this is a Black Hills Gold which I believe is 10 karat there's a little bit of a marking inside the band there and I looked at it as best I could with my magnifier and it's kind of worn away and smashed and scratched but I think it says 10k uh, Black Hills Gold can be 10, 12, or 14, depending on how much and of what. You got the yellow gold, you got the pink gold, rose gold, which has got copper in it. Uh, you can have green gold. So, I mean, the Black Hills Golds are uh, different carrots based on what they're mixed with. For this ring, bring that into view there. This ring weighs 2.9 grams. So I went to the scrap calculator again and I configured it for gold. The same calculator on the same site. Uh, for gold, the scrap gold calculator, I calculated it out at 2.9 grams at 10 carats. It tells me it's 0 .0389 troy ounce of pure gold with a current melt value of 72.30 with spot for gold at 1859.50. Not something I expected, but a definite bonus to the stack. I found that, shoot... That's got to be over a decade I've been carrying that thing around in a box. These silver uh, bracelets I've had for probably 10 plus years. I knew they were silver, so I held on to them. I knew they were worth at least a few bucks just being sterling. Uh, and as the price has gone up, price has gone up, they've just gotten more valuable. And as I've learned about silver stacking and collecting... I've realized the value of them and been able to calculate that out. So that's pretty cool. Got uh, some silver and gold in my stack. My first gold. And it's uh, 0.0389 ounce. I don't know what that would calculate out into grams of pure gold, but I'd say with the gross melt of 72 and a gram selling for about that, it's probably, what, close to a gram of gold? So, yeah. Hey, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, I'm hesitant to open this. I don't know if I want to open this or not until I get a capsule for it. So I don't think I'm going to... A lot of you guys have already seen the 2020 Eagles, so you're probably not missing out on much. Show it off as best I can here through the plastic. This is going to be... Min this design is going to be minted halfway through 2021, and then they're going to switch to a new design. So I want to get a new 2021, or an old 2021 and a new 2021 and encapsulate both of those to go along with this. And it's not proof, it's just uncirculated, but... I will, on the other hand, open up my maple leaf. 
big grin, big grin. Because everybody loves maples. Ooh, look at that shine. Quit covering up the top of it. Uh, let's see if I can get this light a little bit closer. There we are. Got Queen Elizabeth on the front here with a nice mirrored finish. It's got the radial lines. There we go. You can kind of see the radial lines emanating out from the center. I believe this is the Susanna Blunt effigy. It's a $5 face value. And we got the nice crispy looking maple leaf. Got the maple leaf privy on there. Like I said, this is my first one ounce maple leaf and it is a stunner so we're getting into 36 minutes on the video I know that uh, long videos don't get as much view time so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off here real short and uh, on the way out I think I'm just gonna kinda show off this thing I found in my car it's a card protector, card guard, playing poker. I guess you put it on your cards so that the dealer can't swipe them or other players can't mess with them. Had a sticker on it. I'm assuming it's from our local casino. Uh, the sticker was peeled off. I used some goo gone or goof off or something like that to get the remainder of the paper off. You can still see a little bit of it there, but... I don't know what kind of glue they use on there, but wow, look at that. That was not coming off. That is like liquid epoxy, man. I don't know. They do not want those stickers coming off. Anyways, I thought it was kind of cool looking. It's probably steel or copper. I don't know. I didn't even take a magnet to it. Let's see here. Oh, yep, it's magnetic. It's steel, most likely. So, that's pretty cool, though. Weighs like three and a half ounces. Just a little something I found in a bag in my car. I thought it was a coin at first. I was like, oh, boy, what is it? What is it? And then I pulled it out, and I was like, oh, is it silver? No, that's not silver. Oh, well, that's cool anyway. So, there's a little something cool. All right, 38 minutes, and I hope you guys all have a good night, and God bless. This is Silver City Stacker signing off with 30, what was it, 6? 32 and 6, no, 38. 38 plus ounces on the stack. You guys have a good night.